Hey friends, so the budget you are about to see is our actual numbers. However, it is not the program that we use for our actual personal financial budgeting. We use a budgeting software called You Need a Budget, otherwise known as YNAB. And I'm gonna go ahead and link some information down below in the description box. If you decide you would like to give YNAB a try, you get a 34 day free trial. And then if you use the referral link that's down there, if you decide to sign up, you will get an additional free month, as will we. So we use YNAB because I can take it anywhere with me. It's on the computer, it's on our phones. Uh, there is a yearly membership fee. To me, it's worth every single penny. Wherever we are, YNAB is with us. This is not a sponsored video, but I have had questions in the past wondering why we use a spreadsheet for our budgeting. And just for personal reasons, I don't like to show our our actual YNAB like screenshots because it does have like some account information on there. So I transfer the information from there into a spreadsheet to share with all of you. Without further ado, here is the information that you technically came for. Hey friends, welcome back. Today I have got our August 2017 family budget for you. So if you are new around these parts, then welcome, and I do hope that you enjoy what you see and that you consider subscribing if you'd like to be a part of the family. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into our August budget and show you what we're working with. As always, I always start over here with a list of things coming up in the month to just kind of jog my memory. I just look at our family calendar and see any birthdays coming up, any holidays, any events, any like car maintenance, doctor's appointments, whatever it might be. So for the month of August, we do have two nieces' birthdays, but we've already purchased their gifts and left them back in Michigan. So I put it on here just to kind of jog my memory, but it's not going to affect us financially. Same thing with a friend's birthday. I already gave her her birthday present early. The kids start school, so I think I got most of their back to school shopping done as far as supplies, their clothing, their shoes, but I did want to mark that on there. I don't know if there's going to be any unexpected expenses in those last few weeks of the month when they start. Will has a dentist appointment, and for the first time in probably three or four months, we have zero traveling this month. None. We are home for probably... A majority of like through fall so until the holidays most likely so taking a look at our numbers the this first category up here basically stays the same each month our rent actually did just go up because we renewed our lease and so it went up to 1218 but we have a $25 voucher to use because it's our second re lease renewal so we got like a $25 discount so that puts rent for the month of August at 1193 our TV subscriptions are the same each month that's Hulu and Netflix our life insurance policies are the same each month that's my husband and I both combined our cell phone plan includes four lines this is uh, mine and my husband plus my two sisters I put the full bill amount on here because that's the amount coming out of our checking account but my sisters pay for their portion and that I include as income in the top part of our budget so that's why it looks so high but that's four lines and we don't pay that full part the internet is the same $64.99 a month the electric is on a budget plan so that is $110 a month Water and sewer, I always estimate a little bit on the high end. It typically comes in under on both of those, but I always estimate 40 for water and 20 for sewer. Adobe Photo Suite, uh, this has everything that we use for graphic design, editing, for our videos. We pay $52.99 a month to have the most up-to-date Adobe software that there is. Groceries, I'm gonna go back to a $100 a week $400 a month grocery budget. The reason for that, the kids are starting school. I'm not sure like how our routine is going to be. My husband also started a part-time second job. It's temporary, but it will last probably through, well, through August definitely and then into September for sure. Our food is a little bit different. He's eating lunch at his first job. He comes home. We eat lunch together as a family when he gets home. And then we eat dinner as a family when he gets home from that. That varies from what we are used to when we used to do when he would get home from his first job. We would have an early dinner and then maybe a snack before bed. Basically, we're eating a little bit more just because our schedule is different. Gasoline for the vehicles, I'm estimated 120. I use usually about $60 a month just with like running around town. And then my husband is using a little bit of personal 
vehicle time because of the second job. For his first job, he does have a company vehicle, so he doesn't pay for gas for that first job, but for the second job that he's doing right now, he does use his own vehicle. And then it just dawned on me this moment, I'm not sure if I'm going to have Jackson riding the bus or if I'm going to be driving him to and from school. It's going to depend on the information we get like next week and how long he will be on the bus after school because if it's a long period of time, I will just pick him up from school to save him that long bus ride. So our gas budget might actually go up a little more. We're close to the school, but just like the sitting and idling, waiting in car line, this is all new to me. That's something that just dawned on me. Next, we have our debt category. Our student loan is a minimum of $195.39, and our auto loan is a minimum of $216. I do have a feeling with the second job right now and money coming in from YouTube, I will be able to send a bit more to the auto loan, but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, so to speak. So we're just going to budget for the minimum because we know that'll be done no matter what. And then anything above and beyond that will just be snowballed into a bigger payment. These are the sinking funds. I typically do not budget much into our sinking funds. Um, my theory is for my own like brain psychology, if I don't budget much, I'll feel guilty when I'm spending and it really makes me second and third and fourth guess myself before spending money on something. So I feel like it cuts back on a lot of frivolous spending. For the month of August, there are a few things that I know are coming up. So for the miscellaneous category, we've budgeted $60. Um, we already had family pictures taken, but we need to order some of the prints. So I budgeted $60 for that. For the kids, like I mentioned, they start school and I don't know if there's gonna be any, like I could very well go to get them dressed and realize, oh my gosh, none of their socks fit. I don't think that's going to happen because as of right now, three weeks before school starts, everything fits. But I just put $25 aside for anything that we may need once school starts. Household and clothing, we you will see in my July budget recap coming up uh, later this week that we utilized some of the extra funds that we had come in in the month of July to get some of the household and clothing items we needed. So for the month of August, I can't like think of anything that might pop up, so I'm leaving those at zero. Personal care, this is going to be for supplements that I take each month, and there's some information down below about the M3 and Modare supplements that I take if you want more information on that, so that's down in the description box, but I have that budgeted for the month of August. Medical and health, I do set $25 aside each month just because I never know like when the kids will be getting sick or anything like that. Will has a dentist appointment, but that should be a zero copay because it's just his six month cleaning and that's covered under the dental insurance that we have. I don't have anything in fun money or dining out. I probably should because I have a feeling we'll probably do like a celebration for back to school, like maybe go get ice cream or go get pizza, but I don't know for sure. I know that <laughs> sinking funds are all about having the money there so that you can enjoy those things. I don't know, I'm torn on putting money there because then I feel like, oh, it's there, we're allowed to spend it, and really that money should be going towards debt. I'm gonna leave them at zero for right now, and if we decide to celebrate, it will probably be something frugal and budget-friendly so that it doesn't completely blow it out of the water. And our last category is for savings. Now, we don't currently put anything into our joint savings account because we're currently paying off debt. For auto savings, I did kind of plan out how much I needed over the next year or so. So between car insurance and vehicle registrations and maintenance and oil changes, I estimated if I set aside $180 per month, that will help cover those costs. So we're gonna attempt that and see how that number works for us. Same thing with gift savings. We have pretty much gotten all of the family birthdays covered and purchased as far as all the nieces and nephews go. And we have 12 nieces and nephews plus our own two children. Um, so we have a lot of kids to buy for and we have not started saving for Christmas, which is crazy to me. But when we had some cutbacks over the past few months because my husband's overtime got cut, I stopped putting money in the gift savings because we needed it for daily living expenses. So we are going to, while he's back to work and working the extra overtime at job one and picked up job two, we are going to start sinking some money into the Christmas fund because I know Christmas is coming. So if we're able to save for it, it's gonna keep us from having to struggle as it gets near. And then we do have a savings account for Jack and Alice, but we're currently not putting anything in there. That is the month of August. Uh, I have good high hopes going into the month. I hope that we aren't hit with any like crazy expenses, but you never know. We're gonna do our best like we always do, try to throw some extra money at the debt, 
get some money thrown into savings for the auto fund and for Christmas and gift shopping and kind of see how we do. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to answer those for you. But until next time, I will see you later.